Sunday, game one, 1 p.m. Heat, Knicks at the GAT. Can you imagine Jimmy Butler oh. at least two games at MSG? I mean, did you watch him wave goodbye to that Milwaukee crowd when he was walking off the court? Could you imagine him doing that at Madison Square Garden? Come oh. on. He's getting cussed out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Most likely. Yeah. J- Jimmy Butler was talking bleep to Drew Holiday. Crowder, you love that when he told him, I own you. Yes. Down six with three, two and a half minutes left in a game. Think about that. He's so confident in what was about to happen, and it happened. It happened. That down six in Milwaukee, after being down 16, he's chirping. And then after tying the game and sending it to overtime, he's asking the fans, I can't hear you. With overtime still left to play. It was amazing. It was amazing. Yeah. It, it just makes you fall in love with Jimmy Butler more and more. I mean, he's just that dude. Man, it was a it was a series in there when he was going off and him and Drew Holiday, he was talking trash where the Bucks get back on offense. Jimmy runs down talking trash to Drew, walks in the corner, gives him a little chest bump, looks back and sees the ball penetrating, jumps back in the defensive play, gets involved in the turnover and then keeps talking as they fast break down the court. Jimmy Jimmy's been in a zone for what? 60 hours? It's amazing. It's amazing. I said it earlier. You follow up one of the most memorable games in Heat history with perhaps a more memorable game doesn't happen. That that picture of him falling on his back, muscling that shot in to tie the game on a brilliant call by Eric Spolstra is a picture that will be etched in the minds of Heat fans for the rest of your life. Huh, you've said it twice now. Which game was better? I don't know. More there, there points. Was, there was one monumental play last night that we'll never forget, which is that particular play. It's when you say Ray Allen, the shot, you know what it is, right? Um, you'll always remember that. The game before it was probably a better overall game. Yeah. But, man, for the, the reason that I give last night a little bit more credence is he followed up that game with last night's game. Yes. Which, again, like, we were talking about it. You weren't here yesterday. We were talking about it. Like, maybe you bet the Jimmy Butler unders because he's just spent after the game that he put on on Monday night. And he followed it up with a better game. So I I don't know which one is the actual better game. And if you throw in that the bubble Lakers game, the leaning on the wall game, I just – because now I'm thinking about Jimmy games as a Heat player. I, I don't know. You'd really have to think about those three. What what about last year in Boston? Game game six, Boston can close it out. Down oh. three games to two, he drops 43 on their heads at the yeah. TD the Garden. Only, the only reason that I would say maybe this one is because of the stakes. You're on the road, and you dispensed of the number one team in the league. Like, there, there were actual stakes to what happened. The yeah. game before it on Monday night was great. It was a dub. I, I think I had said it. It was like it knocked... Aaron Rodgers getting traded to the Jets, and it's just a round one game that didn't have any stakes towards the end other than, you know, one step closer to winning the series. Last night, you won the series. You sent Milwaukee home. Mm -hmm. And so maybe for that reason, um, I would give that game to to Jimmy as the the all-timer. The overtime shot, I'm with you. The Ray Allen, that picture, Le, you know, uh, LeBron dunking and Wade running off. The picture's great. Who has scored the most points in a single game in Heat history? And you tell me somebody's going to say Jimmy Butler. There's no way in five years people are not going to say LeBron James or Dwayne Wade. Right. Right. So I, I understand what you're saying. Just historically, like, yep. man, this is crazy. And the playoffs, to your point, this wasn't this wasn't a Wednesday night game in the middle of the season. This was a game to put them up on the number one bucks. And they were 14-point underdogs. Mm. But but Crowder, I mean, I think this solidifies Jimmy Butler's place amongst those names. I'm not telling you he's better than LeBron James. I am. I'm not telling you he's better than Dwayne Wade. I am. I'm just saying he belongs in the same discussion. Now, is he better than DeMar DeRozan? We don't know. But As those two, Ron and D-Wade I will sure. come in there and I will throw hands Listen, right now. I would like, I would like to say to 
to my following that's been on me. This Jimmy Butler is not a number one on the championship team bandwagon. I'm not lying. The last two games made, in my mind, Jimmy jump a tier. I always had Jimmy. I always say it. 15 to 20th best player. He's down there. He has, He's respected. I can argue Jimmy is a top 10 player after just top two games. Top 10 player in the league. I'm with you 100%. 100%. I, I don't not argue because that's a crazy way to say it, Hawk. I believe yep. <laughs> that he's a top 10 player now. Not just make an argument. Serious question. Why do organizations wait for a player to retire to hang their number in the rafters? I'm not kidding. Last night, they I wanted to go to the Kaseya Center last night. Let me in with a ladder. I will raise the number 22 to the rafters. Why Why do you wait well, I, I for him believe, to retire? Why? I believe by the time the Heat get home, because what? Sunday, Tuesday, Madison Square Garden. So they'll be home on Saturday night? Saturday night. Okay, so you've got a little over a week, Miami Heat, because they'll be uh, there a week from Saturday. Eric Spolstra's name and – I was going to say sport coat, but they don't even wear – name sport and quarter coat. zip should be <laughs> raised to the rafters and Jimmy Butler's as well. You should get there Saturday night or Saturday afternoon, whenever the game is going to be, and both of them should have – banners hanging from the rafters because they're no doubters do it now uh, are we about 10 years too late for spo if we're approaching it in this direction after last night there's no doubt i mean <laughs> I, if anyone was holding out after uh, last night and i want i want i want a banner with two milwaukee bucks timeouts and grace and allen you know holding on to the basketball that's a great up top. call there should up there top. should be a banner with timeouts and just two hash marks and that big stupid ass deer. That would be a great banner. 